What up people, this is Bonjo. Are you guys planning to come to Croatia long term for one month, two months, four months, nine months, or become a full-blown expat like myself? Well, this is 2024 and I'm gonna give you what the cost of living is here in Croatia. This is the Bonjo Show. This is not your show. I traded the 905 for First off, let's kick it off with the rent. The rent can be anywhere from 300 euros to, it depends what your budget is. You can rent a huge villa if you want, and that's astronomical. But the catch with renting in Croatia is, especially on the Dalmatian coast where I currently reside, and this is where it's gonna be based off of, the Dalmatian coast. I'm not talking about Zagreb or the hinterlands. I'm talking about the Dalmatian coast, the islands and this kind of stuff. To live there long term during the summer, it will be awfully hard, but it's not impossible. You can actually find accommodations here in the summer, but usually they'll ask you to leave the accommodation around May and then you can come back around, I would say end of October, maybe beginning of October, depends. But yes, they can range in the price range of 300 to 600, you know, if you're looking on the cheaper to middle, but if you wanna go expensive, you can obviously go expensive, but 300 to 600 is what you're looking at. In the summer, you won't get 300. In the winter, you can get 300. Like, that's a bare minimum though. But in the, win in the summer, you can find places around here on Chiovo for 600 a month, but it's very hard, very hard. Lots of people have problems. You'll probably have to go to, if you want to stay in the split and Trogir area, you're probably going to have to go to Castella. Uh, so it's not so bad, but you can find it. But me, I don't have rent, so I have zero for that. We own the house, but we have tourist tax and stuff like this we got to do because we got to pay for tourists to stay here because we got apartments like this one you're seeing here. You know, but uh, yeah, you can rent my apartment if you want. Just message me. But yes, that's basically it for accommodations here in Croatia in the Dalmatian coast. That is so you can get one for 300 to 600. And my suggestion is you come here, find the Airbnb or booking.com for a couple nights and ask a few locals. Maybe the Airbnb host will help you out. Maybe they know somebody in the neighborhood and they can get you. But to find it online will be hard and it probably won't be that cheap. Let's move on to groceries. So groceries for us, it's me, my wife, and my son. It can be anywhere from 400, depends how much you guys eat, depends what you get. This is all, this is what mine is. Mine's 500 euros a month. So this is including beers, uh, cleaning products, everything, everything, 500 euros a month. I would say 100 euros every week and then about a hundred, yeah, about 500 to 600 euros a month. Uh, 600 if we want to get something fancy like a cake or something. But yeah, uh, and we have barbecues, we eat meat, we eat twice a day, we eat lunch and dinner. Um, yeah, so five to 600, if you're by yourself, I'm sure it'd cut it right in half, right? That's just obvious. So it's, it's expensive for locals. Groceries are super expensive. This would be the most expensive on our list because I could say sometimes we spend 200 euros a week because we get fruits and vegetables every day. Yeah, it depends. It all depends. But my rough thing would be, my rough estimation for you guys, especially single tourists, 400 euros a month. That's what I think. Depends what you're eating. Are you just eating rice and a couple of vegetables or are you eating meat every day? We eat meat every day. So that's why ours is about 600 euros. Now let's get into bills. Utilities, that is. Utilities. Well, we gotta pay for water every three months. So our bill comes every three months for water. It's about, I would say 30 to 60 euros. Depends how much water during tour season, it'll be 60 euros every three months. So these next three months, it'll be 60 euros. We just got one in, it said 60 euros. So water will be 60 euros. And then we got HEP. That's the electrical company here. The electricity, the hydro, whatever you wanna call it back home. Hydro, we got hydro bills. Every month we have to pay. This month we had to pay 88 euros. 
Last month we had paid 92 and the month before that we had to pay 160 because winter, the winter months, the winter months were might awfully high because we use the space heaters and, uh, and the wall heaters. But in the summer, you'll also use the air conditioner because it gets super hot here, right? So yeah, 90 to 150 for that, about 40 on average for the water. So you're looking at, a, I would say, 115 average for hydro and 40 average for water. So that's not bad. That's 155. So that's not bad for those two. Now we're going phone, internet, and TV. So we got two cell phones. We got three TVs, three cable boxes, and we got high speed fiber optic internet. That all cost, and plus we got a new phone. So we have to pay an extra 20 euros a month for that. So it all comes together about 120 euros a month for all of that. A new phone, fiber optic internet, three TVs, and the internet for home. And the one phone has, I think, unlimited gigabytes for internet. So it's pretty good, right? Pretty good. 115 euros, you know, not bad. Not bad, not bad at all. And garbage. Let's get the garbage. Yeah, we gotta pay garbage fees here. Garbage, you put your garbage in the green bin, you gotta pay for that here. Every time they scan it, there's a barcode on the side of the garbage can. Every time they scan it, they charge you a little bit. They charge you, so if you don't ever use it, you won't get charged. But we use it every week because we got tourists and we got garbage. But if you're a good person, you recycle. You can also get recycling bags. Recycling bags go out on Wednesday, garbage Monday and Friday. And that's how it is. So our garbage bill is about 20 euros a month. 22 euros a month, I'd say. So that's not bad either. Now we got waste water. This is 22 euros a month, to actually 24 euros a month. I still don't even know what this is for. I just know we have to pay it. I don't really understand what it's for because we got septic tanks. And then if you want to get it cleaned out, you got to pay 100 euros to get it cleaned out. So what is this for? If anybody in the comments knows, what is this wastewater? It's about 22 euros, 24 euros every month you gotta pay for the whole year, every year. I don't know what it's for, but all I know, you gotta pay, you gotta pay. So, health insurance. If you're planning to stay here and you got accepted for a residence permit, either it be temporary, permanent, or you got citizenship, you're gonna need health insurance or they can cancel your permanent or temporary resident. That's truth. Now, if you have citizenship, you can claim that you don't have a job if you don't have a job or if you're working outside the country. But if you want health insurance, which is worth it, it's 97 euros a month for basic, or you can get the uh, premium one and it's 10 euros extra and it pays for all your medical expenses. I mean, doctors, dentists, operations, prescriptions, everything, therapy, whatever you need, you get that. So it's not that bad to get that. I would get, I'm using the basic, but I think I'm gonna up mine to the premium level because I just went and got a root canal. Guess how much I had to pay for it? Guess how much I had to pay for a root canal? You guessed it. No, you didn't. It was only 20 euros, 22 euros. In Canada, that's 1,500 euros. I mean, $1,500. That's crazy, 20 euros, and I got basic insurance. So, whew, what are we talking about, son? What a deal, smashing, smashing prices. That's one of the big draws here in Croatia, is the dentist. If you need to get your teeth fit, come to Croatia, Jesus. So, we're getting into transportation now. Transportation, hmm. So there's a thing called Promet here, Promet Split. It's a bus line, so you can catch the 37 from Trogir to Split and the 37 back from Split to Trogir, or you can catch the 44 from Trogir to Okra Gorni and the 42 from Trogir to Slatine, whatever you want. There's a Promet Split, so you can go on the app and you can get it for half price. If you download the app, do -do 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 -do, and you download the app, you buy the tickets on the app, it's literally half price. If you're traveling to Split Croatia and you want to save money, Download this app, it'll help you save on transportation. It's called Promet. So here's Promet Split app right here. Open it up. You can go to your wallet and top up your balance like this. Cost a euro for each ticket usually or one way. Put all your card information like so. And then you go down to buy tickets. 
buy a single ticket, select the area you're coming from. We're leaving from Trogear and we're going to split. Uh, select split. And here we go, two euros. The original bus ticket, if you pay at the bus, would cost four euros. So that's half the price. Half the price for each one. And just press buy ticket. And bam, you got your ticket. Now go to my tickets, open them up. The yellow ones mean that they're active now and we have already used them. The white one means you haven't used it yet. So bam, you got an hour and 30 minutes to use these tickets and let's go. Scan the barcode and you're good to go. We pay about 16 euros a week. So for the month, I would say it's about 64 euros, not even, not even really. Cause we, we have to take Enzo to speech therapy. So we always take the bus there and back there and back. And in the summer, the bus is worth it. Cause driving around here is absolutely insane. And you know, what's even more insane parking, parking. You, you're going to pay 20 euros, 20 euros everywhere you park in town. So just take the bus, take a walk, take the boat. But I would say it's around 60 euros for every day everyday thing you can buy a bus pass for like i think it's what 100 euros so it's it's not bad it's not a bad deal now let's get into fun fun this will be all your drinks at the bar your kebabs your street food your i was gonna say mcdonald's but you ain't got no mcdonald's unless if you're in split you got mcdonald's or toys for your kids or treats for your kids so enzo's toys will be about 100 euros a month well, actually about 50 euros a month, I would say. 100 euros is crazy, you know. He usually gets something here and there every day. Uh, drinks on the beach, I would say. 30, we don't go crazy. We don't go out all the time, but 30 euros a month. So right there, that's about 80 euros for that. Drinks, Enzo's toys. And now kebabs. Kebabs, so it's about 6 euros or something like that. 6 something in town for a euro or a kebab. Um... Yeah, so a kebab would be about 12 euros for two of us. So that's only 12 euros. So we're looking at 100 euros in total for fun, fun activities. And in total, let's be honest, I don't pay rent. So the total amount of money that you need per month would come to around 1,500 euros. Me, I don't have rent. So mine would be 900 euros, 1,000 euros. So yours, you probably don't have a house and you probably are gonna have to pay for rent. So yours is gonna be looking around 1500 euros for all that combined. I don't know if that's cheap or not where you're from, where I'm from, it's super cheap. You can't even pay for rent and you're paying for your whole month for 1500. You know, maybe I'm doing it on the little cheap side, but I would say 2000, if you can get 2000 euros per month, you are styling here. You're getting to do whatever you want, you know? I mean, you're not going to go crazy shopping and buy Louis Vuitton, Dolce Gabbana, none of that stuff. But I mean, you're going to live a pretty good life, eat, go out, do whatever you want, and have a pretty good time here in Croatia. So if you can afford 1,500 euros a month, you're going to have a good life here, I think. I think so. So remember, guys, click like, subscribe, and share. If you ever have any questions or you want me to answer something that you, you need answers to, just message me either here or Instagram at this is Bonjo. So this is Bonjo on Instagram or just on this channel in the comment section. It's easy. I'll answer everything. And I hope you like the cost of living video. This is the first one. I have so many grocery videos that give you an idea of what things cost. They'll be in the in my YouTube channel so you can see grocery shopping in Croatia. Grocery shopping in Croatia. Or I'll just put them up here, you know, and you can click here. Click the tab and I'll put one in the, the comment section below or the description so you can all see all that stuff, okay? So this is Bonjo. We're out here in Croatia. We're loving it. 